Okay, if anybody wants to hang on here, um, we're going to have a, another haves and wants session. Mm -hmm. And I hope that's why we've got a few extra folks here. So uh, I will say we've got a, a if you have a have something, a, a have or a want, a property you want to sell or something you're looking for, you can put your contact information in the uh, uh, in the chat. But then also we ask, you'll go ahead and give us your email address or your telephone number, how you'd like to be contacted. Mm -hmm. So the people watching this on our, on the uh, replay from our website can can also pick it up because they can't uh, they can't view the chat uh, if they're just listening on, our, on the replay. So who's going to get us started today? <laughs> I'm sure somebody's out there itching to do a deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if not, I'll keep plugging my own. I'm still looking for a place to help my son out. He wants to get out of the rental, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, being on the tenant side of the rental. Uh, so um, and we'll be helping him out. So uh, looking for, I actually, I, I, I would prefer a, a two family. Uh, so he's got, got some additional income coming in. Uh, to help pay the mortgage payments, but um, look for a small single family or a or a, uh, a two family. Uh, you can reach me at uh, my cell number is six three six five seven eight two one zero seven. Again, six three six five seven eight two one zero seven. Hey Lloyd. Yeah, it's David. David. Yes, mm -hmm. um, if I could put a request out for anybody out there that has a uh, carpenter framer, I got three houses in South City that I'm going to start getting uh, done and up and on the market. So they're like fun conversions or gut conversion, you know, like that. So mm -hmm. heavy duty carpenter framer, you know, like frame, you know, a lot of uh, new two by four studs, you know, that kind of thing. Not someone that hangs doors or baseboards, but you know, puts in the uh, framing, so. Well, a rough a framing carpenter, rough carpenter. Yeah, framing carpenter. Not a finished, not a finished carpenter, you're not to that right. point yet. But you will be, right? Or you already got your framing, you're a finished carpenter. Uh, you were breaking up, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, uh, you already have your finished carpenter, you're just looking for a, a framing carpenter now? Correct, yes. Okay, well, you wanna give them your uh, contact information? Yep, yep. I'll put it in the chat box and they can call me uh, at six for those listening in. Uh, this is in South City, three houses. Uh, you frame or carpenter, please call David Randolph at 636 685 2990. That's 636 685 2990. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, thank you, David. Anybody else? Oh, I see. Uh, see, David has uh, got a uh, David Seberg got a duplex in U City, south of Olive. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I'll contact you on that. City. Okay. Anybody else? Have anything to buy? Looking to, uh, or I want something to, what you're looking for to buy? Oh, here I see Sandra. Um, looking to have a deck torn off and replaced. Good luck on that. I'm, I'm trying to do, <laughs> I've been trying to get bids all summer to replace my, my deck. And that, it, now everybody's pushing me off to the spring saying, oh, they're, they're, they're all booked. All the deck specialists are booked till spring. <laughs> is uh eric on here somewhere i know i think i think eric was looking for something eric coon eric? Eric? Eric, eric coon's on here yeah let's see eric are you, are you there can you can you unmute yourself there <sighs> you might be oh, you got me? yeah there yeah. you are yeah, there are. we hear you now hey got there me. he is yes um i'm looking for a apartment building um either four or four, six family um i got a buyer that's looked on uh, willing to uh invest between 450 and six hundred thousand dollars for the apartment building um he's looking for um 
maybe maybe about two or three two bedrooms um maybe one or two um what be, um, bedroom apartment um rooms okay you want to give your contact how, how are you likely to be contacted on it yes uh, my contact it so, could be anyway okay well, i'm glad you told me um, I need 754-2421. Can you say that again? Yep. 314-755-2421. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Anybody might be wanting to sell an apartment building. Mm -hmm. Eric's got a buyer. All right. I think we sold one or one of our members uh, a couple weeks ago, or we haven't did, lined did, up about it. Did, jo did Joan sell hers yet? I believe she did, yeah. We heard uh, the following week that, yeah, she was connected with, Kevin, I don't see her on here today, but uh, she had connected with somebody that was, uh, and had, a, had an agreement. Oh, mm -hmm. then never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else? Heard somebody else had unmuted themselves a little while ago, and uh, are they still on here? I just sent a message to Sandra, but I'm a real slow typer, and I saw yeah. this guy yeah. who was a debt, debt says he's a debt doctor, and he did one across the street from one of my places, and it looked okay, but I don't know anything about him one way or the other. Bob but Dad, okay. And that, that's always, a, that's a good point you brought up right there, Dwayne. Always do your own due diligence. We're not recommending anybody here. What we're doing is just setting up a platform where we can get together and say what we want, what we, you know, I like to call it the haves and have nots, but the haves and wants, whatever they are, um, whatever you need. Um, this is a great place to do it, but definitely do your own, uh, your own research and your own due diligence, <laughs> anyone here. I mean, we have great vendors and, and you know, to work with our uh, organization here. But as far as is recommendations, I, I personally don't do that myself, and I know we don't as a group. So just keep that in mind. So that yeah, thanks for bringing that up, uh, Wayne. Yeah, and everybody's got uh, likes to talk about the great work they do, but then having when you ask for a reference, they can show you a lot of pictures of some nice decks. Who built them? We don't know, but uh, getting an actual reference of, of a previous customer is is kind of tough. Yeah. Uncle Guru has a lot of pictures. <laughs> yeah, well, big, big, book, but they have big books, binders full of all kinds of great deck pictures. But ask him for a reference, and yeah, well, yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Right. So that's a little, a little tougher. Okay. Um, let's see, Tony. Uh, what do we got here? Um, Need to want to buy from that city tax sale. Uh, oh, if the property is occupied. Um, anybody's familiar with the city uh, tax sales? They have their own rules. <laughs> I am not. Yeah, every county has their own own rules. Uh, I attended the St. Charles uh, County one, but uh, not the city. city I thought Sandler. the city had a clause in there, Lloyd, that said. That if somebody's in there, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then you call Kathy and say, get rid of them. Yeah, I think that's, anyway, that's what the banks are doing on their foreclosure sales now. They used to have evict the tenant, have evict their mortgage holder, but now there's, they're saying they're, they're selling occupied properties on the courthouse steps now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, and it's up to you. Yeah. Like you said, you got to call Kathy. I want, I want your, your bid is successful. You don't know what kind of shape, even if it was in good shape before, by the time the occupant gets out, you don't know what you're going to have. I had a property I bought in another county uh, at, a, at a tax, it was after the tax sale over the counter back a few years ago, and there was a guy in there, and he, he stayed. It took us about six months to get him out of there. Now, I didn't, you know, I went by there, and, and um, anyway, I didn't really talk to him. I sent some other people there, but we went through the court, and actually it came down to getting to court. He actually ended up moving out um, be right before there, but he left the electric on. He left the place broom swept, which was amazing because when I first bought the property, it had probably 150 lawnmowers and old trucks and cars he worked on out there. And it was, a, uh, it was owned by his uncle. 
And he just lived there for free for years and years and years until after five years of taxes went by. And then he, um, and then, and then finally he got a couple of notices and he just moved out and cleaned everything up, including the lawnmowers in the yard, which was amazing. So, yeah. but it took me six months after I bought the property to actually have it to where he had moved out. Of it, yeah. You just don't know. I mean, every county is different. You'll have to see what the procedure is in the city. You know, a lot of them, they give them a one year uh, redemption period. I think that's a Missouri state law, but I'm not, you have to go by county to county because the state laws and the county regulations are always two different things. Yeah, and I see uh, Laura, Laura Jimerson put a note out here. The, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if, to get more information on uh, city tax sales, uh, Attorney Dale Sweet, has a, is, that's his specialty. Mm -hmm. 314, yes. Yeah, 314-772-2889. Dale Sweet. He's a good guy. We've had him speak at our, uh, at our live, live meetings before. Um, actually, his his partner is going to be speaking in in October. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Julie. I forgot. Yeah, Julie Ostrom. Yes, we're going to have her on a la later uh, in October, uh -huh. October twentieth. So that might be a good one to bring your questions to that meeting. Yeah, yeah. I think she specializes in evictions. Yeah, and, I, and I also right. entities, business entities. I think is what she was going to talk about, but I'll have to double check because uh, she might have changed her mind since then. I don't know. A lot, a lot has happened in the last few months. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to stay up to date these days. That's why I'm so glad that Kathy Davis and, uh, and, and Christina and, uh, and Chris come every week to talk to us because everything changes just, just um, yeah. as of the minute. I mean, yeah. that, you're literally two minutes before she got on, she went from a smile to almost like a I wouldn't, I don't want to say a frown, but uh, a serious look, you know, so, um, I mean, we're finding this stuff out at the same time they are right now. So it's, it's so good to stay up to date and it's good that we do have this platform right now too, because we're, we are, uh, you know, we're, we're able to do stuff online that we, you know, we, we almost couldn't even do in, in person sometimes, especially with the, with the cut, I say cutting edge, but that's what it is. We're getting, we're getting cutting edge information here. Anyway, other questions? We've got a couple, another phone number here, it looks like. I don't know what that is, Brian Davis. Uh, is yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, David, uh, you put uh, Brian Davis' phone number. Is he somebody to talk to about the city tax sales? Uh, no, sorry, that was for the deck, deck person. Did you hear me? Oh, the deck person, deck person. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll write that down. Next, general, I'm... but he does, does a good job with decks. Okay, okay. So that's uh, Brian Davis. You're looking for a deck uh, carpenter, and his number is 314-514-4366. He's the, uh, this is a deck, Brian, it's Brian Davis. He's another deck, deck specialist. So uh, yeah, I might be giving him a call. I call the carpenter that's built a couple fences and some some other uh, work for me, and uh, he's supposed to come by this week. And we'll see. He's got uh, one more day this week to <laughs> stop by and take a look. But uh, he's a busy guy. I know he, he's usually booked out two months in advance. In fact, he told me when I contacted him last week, he said, oh, he's booking out to November right now. I said, that's fine. You know, November is good. I'm good with that's better than March, next March. Yeah, and San Sandra's not on here anymore. If you can get that message to her, maybe she can call him too. Oh, okay. She yeah, I can do that. I've got her email. She, uh, she sends me properties occasionally. So, um, okay. Yeah. Be, a, be a hero. Sure. I hope her out. Well, maybe I'll wait till after I get my deck fixed and then I'll send him over. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, if she gets to him first, I'll be behind on the list again. No. Anyway, okay. Anybody else got anything? Got a lot? A lot of good interest here today. Okay. Well, if not, uh, John, I know you want to say anything about uh, our upcoming uh, programs. We got uh, next one after, well, actually after next Friday. Now, I won't be on next Friday. I want to be taking a little time off next week. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 
Manila property management. Somebody's got a train going by. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have uh, a couple of good meetings really scheduled. We have a lot of stuff in store. We have a lot of good mm -hmm. things coming up. So we'll definitely stay in touch. Uh, watch your watch your emails. Watch the uh, look at the website. Um, but we have Ron Legrand, uh, the Godfather of real estate, coming on. He's doing a, a special presentation for us on Saturday, October the third, which is only a week from tomorrow already. Uh, and then he's got a free um, a free all day class that he is going to teach. He's doing more terms and things that I'm really totally aligned with myself. But he's he's doing that on the ninth, which is a Friday. He's doing a five hour all day. So um, and he'll talk he'll talk about that next week on Saturday when he when he speaks to our group um, about that and. One of the things I just want to say is on the five five hour things, make sure you're hydrated, have some healthy snacks there, and um, just come with a pad and, and pen and be ready to take lots of notes because Ron goes through a lot of stuff. I don't know that he'll have a replay. He does do a lot of things online. I don't know that he'll have a recorded replay, uh, but that's just something. Um, it's always best to take your own notes and show up live anyway because we get a lot more for that. I know that even on like what we're doing here and on our, our meetings, we do uh, we do offer replays, you know, as much as possible. Um, and, and they're good. We have a lot of people to watch it, but it's really best to uh, to attend live. What I personally do is uh, I'm here live and then I watch I watch the replays um, at least one or two times too, because I always get extra information. So that's something on the meetings. We do have, uh, like we said in October, also we have uh, Julie Ostrom uh, from, from Dale Sweet's office. She's going to show up. Um, and then we, we have, uh, oh, we have a lot of other good things. So just, just keep in mind, uh, you know, uh, visit the website uh, periodically, check your emails, check your spam too, because I know a lot of the stuff I get for whatever reason, when they have the services go out, sometimes it just ends up in your spam or your, your, your bulk email. So just do, do check that before you empty them. I know I've been, I was dumping a lot of um, emails that I did want from a couple organizations that I'm in. And I kept saying, why well, did I get them? And then I found out that's where they were going. So just keep that in mind too. Um, again, anything else, uh, you know, get in touch with us. Uh, if we don't get back right away, just keep in mind, we're, we're pretty busy right now with a lot of this stuff. We're actually more busy online than we are offline and we're doing both. So, which is fine though. And we have a lot of good education things coming up. Again, I, I thank you everybody for tuning in and to our broadcast. I think we try to bring you as much value as possible. And I'm sure we, we accomplish that most of the time. If there's anything in particular you want to know about, though, just drop us a line and, and we'll see what we can do about getting that on the, uh, on the schedule. So mm -hmm. that's about all I have. Anybody uh, have anything else you want to say, Lloyd, or anybody else? Uh, no, no. The only other thing I might mention is that I know uh, um, Ron Legrand on his full day seminars uh, or, or workshops, he actually uh, encourages people that if they got a, a lead from a uh, for sale by owner property and they want to get some information, uh, he's got an information sheet. I'm sure he'll be given out on the Saturday, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, third, he'll be given out the form there, you have information how to get the form. You put your, uh, you gather information about uh, some leads you've got do you think you got a good lead on a property? Uh, and then you can on the on this on the, the Friday, they will actually be making calls. Um, he's got uh, what's her name? The one of the Wolf. Uh, your last name is Wolf. Uh, that actually makes calls. That's she's super uh, about uh, relating to uh, to sellers and uh, for sale by owner properties. And uh, they, they'll they can negotiate some great great deals uh, right over the phone and get uh, get it back to to you with uh, uh, a seller that uh, might be willing to uh, take the take some good terms make some good terms. Did you guys say for uh, of the, all those events that you just mentioned they're on the website like the time and dates and everything and right. invitations. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. The website or uh, on Meetup. I don't know if you you got with us on Meetup. Uh, the Meetup site also. Uh, yeah, the Saturday one is at nine. Nine starts at nine a.m. on Saturday the third, and then on October the ninth, the Friday is starts at noon. It goes for five hours. So, awesome. Thanks. Make sure you're hydrated. Got got water handy there because Ron can go on for hours. <laughs> Hopefully, he takes. I think he probably will take a short break in the middle somewhere. Catch his breath and. But uh, yeah, he's, he's great. I said, you know, the last time he came to St. Louis for us, uh, yeah, 
I was on his all day Saturday event and uh, we had lunch. I knew we needed a lunch break because uh, yeah, we're, went, went solid for a good five hours. Yeah, he originally was going to be here live, but I'm really glad he, he uh, agreed to do an online uh, training for us because that's uh, with everything what we're going through right now, we, we you know, it, it's kind of the best of both worlds in a way because I know for me, and, and that's why I like to block off the time just so I can dedicate it because it's so easy to uh, do other things. It's nice that we can do that and sit in our shorts and our, you know, when people can't always see everything going on. But then again, you do want to definitely pay attention. So I'm really glad that he was able to uh, schedule that in for us. So this is, uh, it's pretty exciting. So make sure, and in fact, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just throw this out there, invite a friend too. Um, we, we are limited on the amount of space that we do have. Uh, but, but definitely uh, inv invite one of your friends that you think might benefit from it. Um, we're, we're, you know, we, this was going to be for members only. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just say right now that, and, I, and I'm going to, hopefully it's okay with everybody else, but I'm just going to say, uh, because this is information sure. that you're not going to get anywhere else. I mean, this is, uh, this is some really good stuff. This is what works. Ron's been around for, oh, I don't know, ever since I remember, I mean, decades, he's been teaching this stuff. He's known as the undisputed grandfather of real estate. And there's no doubt he changes with the times. I mean, he's doing some stuff right now, which I'm a big believer in as far as terms go. Um, I think the money is in the, in the terms. Um, it's, it's fine to be a landlord and all this kind of stuff, but there's, any, you know, which he talks about, but really, uh, I'm all for being the bank. You know, I really, I want to collect the money every month. So, and I know some of you that know me know that I'm really, I'm really a firm believer in the way I do things. And uh, Ron just, fit, he just, uh, you know, what he does is just amazing. And he's got lots of students to, uh, over the years to prove that. In fact, some of the main, some of the trainers that we've had, the national trainers now that are around the country, they were trained originally by Ron. Right. I mean, yeah. That's where they came from. So um, there, there's a lot of value we got, we got coming up. So please be sure and uh, make sure you, you know, set your calendar right now to tune in. Yeah, hi there. Can I ask a question? Sure, Roger. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, how do I get to the replay? Because I missed Kathy in the beginning. I was a little late getting on, and mm -hmm. I definitely want to hear what she was saying. And I know there's a replay at some point. Yeah, if you go uh, to our replay. website, uh, Jen will have it up there. He's usually got them up within an hour. S-T-L-R-E-I-A.com. It's our website. And if you look, and isn't it? On the left-hand side at the bottom of the homepage, John? Um, I don't know. That's Patrick. I'm not the technical the latest guy. one. Yeah. I'm not that guy. All right. But, and that'll go up. How long does it take after today? You know, after? They're, they're generally up. I, I, I stay with it till they get up. Sometimes it takes me till midnight or two or three in the morning. I have to get the rendition, which has to come down. Then we have to, um, then I have to, I have to load it up. Then I, uh, yeah. Send the link to Patrick. It takes a little time. I, I have it. I start it right away, though. However long it takes, it takes, though. Uh, but so, I would say it probably by, you know, and then it depends on Patrick. They're on Eastern time. So if I can't get it to him till three or four in the afternoon, a lot of times they're yeah. they're close. So it'll be Monday, but it'll be up, right? It'll be up as soon as I can get it up. Yeah. Oh, but it might, if it doesn't get up today, then it's not going to happen until Monday then. I don't know. It depends on what it depends on their schedule. Sometimes he does stuff over the weekends. I, I can't, you know, I don't know. Okay. I'm not the technical guy, but it, it'll be up. I promise you it'll be yeah. up. So by yeah. Monday, it'll certainly be up. Yeah. Yes. Right. I say definitely by, by Monday. Yeah. Our webmaster is pretty, pretty responsive. In fact, I've had him yeah, yeah. Stuff up over the weekend too. Uh, yeah. For us. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you can, you can keep an eye on it over the weekend, but if not for sure on, on Monday, I'm sure it'll be there. Yeah. And then how far back does it, how long do you keep them up there? How far back does it go? Right now, I think, have you been posting them since we started this? Back yeah. in, oh, they're yeah. all on there. Everything we do is, is record that we could possibly record is on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. It's in the member section. All the replays yeah. are in the member section. I have to, I haven't really tried to use it before. So this will be my first time. So yeah. I should start getting on there. I guess I, do I have to have a member number? It's my first time on there. No, you should just use your the email that you uh, you registered your your membership as. Okay, right. I that should use your ID, and you go ahead and set up your first time. You set up a password, and right. Be good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think I signed up as a member in per back when I was when we were doing these things in person. So, but you yeah. think I got an email? Well, yeah. I got a welcome package or something. You should have had put uh, on the app on our application. Uh, we always ask for for uh, yeah. For your email 
And that's right. how you and, and if you're getting email, you're getting the email that contacts you for this. Yeah. And yeah, then you're exactly. you're on. You're with us. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. But I don't know if I don't know my, my what my ID is. Just it's just my email address. Just your email address. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Very all you. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay. Really. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm on these from the from now on. I kind of hadn't gotten the habit of getting on these, but the, yeah, you you do a good job. So I appreciate it. Oh well, yeah. Well, Kathy and her crew does a great, great job of keeping us up to date. So yeah, you, no, Kathy's, good. Kathy's good. Uh, I'll have to think of a topic that you guys would find interesting. Maybe I'll get yeah, yeah. one maybe. I'll think. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll 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 mull it over and I'll propose something. Okay, okay, yeah. We're always looking for guys, ideas. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, in other words, Kathy's great. I mean, Kathy and and Kathleen um, and um, Christine. Christine are tremendous. Also, the that whole office. Dale is Dale. I mean, I've done some city, I've done some city. Uh, you know, the tax lien sales, but Dale is definitely the king of that in the city of St. Louis. They're very. The whole system in the city is extremely different from from the county and from the surrounding counties. So he and Dale is very good at that. I mean, I certainly do them too, but he does them all the time. So it's more second nature to him. And that office, yeah, because Julie Ostrom and uh, Jonathan Beck. They're all great too. So yeah, I mean, total respect for the attorneys that you've had on. Okay. Well, all right. But I'll let you know if I have some, maybe some something unusual that you might find interesting. I'll think of it. I'll think about it. Okay. All right. Appreciate Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. Yeah, that's Roger Wallach. He's another attorney that's a member of our group. So we get a lot of um, good input. Everybody's got their little niche of specialty. Uh, that uh, they work in, and I know yeah, Roger's very familiar with the uh, uh, land land trust. I know, but I'm sure he's got other a lot of other topics that he could he could bring us up to speed on. So, well, anybody else got any uh, more haves or wants? Looking here. Um, <laughs> Okay. Jeff wanted to know, Jeff Ladd about being, uh, sent me a message here about being uh, a vendor here. Um, I told him to go to the website, Lloyd, and send a request to admin and then you'll get yeah. in touch with him. Is that, that's yeah. the, best, the best way, correct? That's the best way. Yeah. If you get, okay. you know, uh, under, uh, on top of our website, they had vendors and there's a, a drop down menu that says benefits of being a member or, and then there's also a, an application form to go ahead and fill out uh, to get on. And I, I respond to those in the, get you set up yeah okay, okay. all right well well it's a, a good good session uh the the haves haves and have nots i like to call it but because you're just looking for stuff but the haves and wants sure. that's always good and I, I think we should continue this i like to i like doing that and we'll probably do do some more of that um i don't know if maybe next friday but maybe we'll save that till saturday with with ron and that would be a good time to do that also um, yeah. people will be a little bit more engaged, I think, in, in buying and selling property. So, uh, you know, just in some things you want. Also, I like the uh, idea of the, of the uh, if you're looking for decks and stuff um, also, um, this is a great way to network. I know a lot of times we did that at our uh, our lunches at Applebee's, which kind of mm -hmm. just on hold right now, because that's, uh, I know they're open, but that's a little chaotic trying to trying to do anything in person. So, um, this is this is just a great thing, and you could come on for a few minutes and you know say what you're looking for, or what you need, and uh, or what you got. If you're if you're somebody that builds decks, in fact, if you know somebody, bring them on. <laughs> you know? Yeah, Got bring it. bring your painters. I know David Randolph don't share his painters. He'll share share a lot of his contractors, but any anybody that you you have to share right now, this is a great networking uh, great networking venue for us. So uh, please, yeah, please show up and and thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. And I guess we'll see everybody. Well, you'll see everybody next next Friday, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take a Friday off. Okay. And I'll be back on on Saturday though for the for Ronald Grants, and we'll do the Haves and Wants then. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a bigger, I uh, have more wider interest, so we have a bigger audience there to yeah. to uh, move move some properties or uh, mm -hmm. do some business. Yep, there's a lot going on right now, and uh, this is this is great. Staying on the leading edge, cutting edge, right here. So. Hey. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. All right. Thanks. See you next time. Thanks. We'll see you all soon. Yep. Take care. All right.